Welcome back, Panther fans. I am still getting used to this new software. I'm also David Brown. That is Ryan Graham. <laughs> hey, y'all. This is Tim Thurber. Hello. And we are State of Atlanta. Sorry. That just that <laughs> threw me off a lot. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I have no idea what just happened. So <sighs> welcome back, guys. Oops. Mm. We had a bye week too, right? Marshall had a bye week. We had a bye week, and plus another bye week. And Feels like it. Bye week. we had four bye weeks. <laughs> that's like a that's like, that's like one week. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, normally we, uh, I don't know if this is a surprise to anybody. I don't know if you pay close enough attention to the way we do these things. But typically when we do these interviews with uh, the opposing fan base, we do that first. And then we come in here nice and intoxicated and um, just do our regular episode as if we have not talked to the other person yet. But we just finished talking to Russ with Thundercast. And man, that was a Thundercast. Fun. Yeah. Come on, I yeah. That right. That was a fun conversation. I, I, we didn't talk about the game a lot, but we talked a lot no. about Marshall, and it was a lot of fun. I had, yeah, I had if, a lot of fun with it. If you like, if you like our podcast, and if you're listening, I hope you do, because uh, <laughs> that'll be problematic. <laughs> um, you will really like uh, our interview with Russ because it is definitely just like, um, just but, he showed he showed up to the tailgate, you know. But we don't care if you don't either. Yes, exactly. And you are listening. But, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't give a shit. We know there's a lot of UTDS people out it, there listening to us, and you know, you guys can get. Uh, well, I, I won't say that yet. But. Yeah, yeah. Outside of, yeah. The, I, I, I look at the numbers, and outside of Metro Atlanta, our highest listened to area is uh, Statesboro. Uh, so, but hate. it is very sweet of them to listen to our podcast. But yeah, if you are uh, Georgia State Panther fans, if you are going up to Huntington for this Thursday night game, go check out the Thundercast. Uh, Meet Russ. Uh, tailgate meet russ we'll have and some his guys for you, right they it sounds like they it sounds like they do they do it the right way but um yeah so all right coming off a of bye week and yep. back so so here's something that I, I thought about all right so we've come off we've had two bye weeks because again the sun belt doesn't own a calendar and we've lost both games coming out of bye weeks now we're going into a short game a short week so we we win, right? That, that's how this works. If we lose with a lot of time off, we win with no time to prepare. Is that how that works? Well, it uh, depends on if we've uh, gelled. <laughs> we're, we're definitely ungelling right now. Yeah. What is the status of rust right now? <laughs> heavy, heavy rust, right? It, it <laughs> does, so, like, we, we saw a good team. We've seen a good team. And we've seen a really terrible team. And, think, oh. you know, I, there's a consistency problem. And, I you know, I don't know... Who's going to show up on Thursday? Um, I hope the right team shows up on Thursday. I hope they've like figured it out, get out of their own heads, and don't lose against the worst team in the Sun Belt. That that would be great. Um, well, the, the, well, the Marshall, worst team is the worst team, but we just lost to them. I know. Worst team. Worst team is Appalachian State right now. Can you believe it? I, I don't. I won't is, say it. I won't say it. we're still going to lose to them. I mean, based on everything I've seen, they so. just the Marshall guy just told us how to beat them. But guess what? We're not good at that. Well, we only had fifty. We, we only had so the um, spoiler alert: the way to beat them is to run. Um, we only have fifty-seven Ooh. yards against ODU. So, mm. hooray! Yeah, um, I was gonna tell. Uh, I was gonna tell Russ like just one favor for the game: just go easy on our lines. Both of yeah, them. yeah, just just chill, dude. Our our, our line just uh, you know they be nice. I, I uh I, I talked to another Marshall podcast this um earlier to, earlier today, and I'll you know push that out for anybody that wants to listen to it but he was talking about like you know what's um our, our problem zones and i'm like the Everywhere. line <laughs> the line just like you know defense offense that you know it's there's this there's just no good line play if, if we can get some line play maybe we can do something in this game but man this this odu game was so fresh we looked we should have won that game we should have won that game like what happened to the team we saw the first three weeks? What happened to the team that beat Vandy, that beat Bama? Like, yeah. We we just looked absolutely piss poor. And I know, I guess part of it was there. I don't know if he felt like he's being pressured, but making too quick of play. I, I don't I don't know what it was. But like, how, do, how do you not score? <laughs> it could just be, I mean, 
Look, it could be Vayers having to throw a little bit faster than he wants to. Like he's not getting the protection he needs. He's feeling he has to throw it faster. The te- other teams know we can't run the ball because our line's not actually doing very well, and that probably puts a lot of pressure on Vayer. And you know, you could see in some of the games, earlier games, where when Vayer got pressured, his throws were off. They were high, and you saw a lot of that with Old Dominion. A lot of inaccurate throws. There's some accurate ones too, but if you notice on those throws, he had a lot of time to make them. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. just, um, I guess you know they 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 want to open up that that type of a play for him. You know these deep balls, whatever. But it seemed like he was just um, a little too quick, a little too much time, and it was all over the place. It was just weird. And then the the lack of the I don't know the running game. I think Brady posted on Panther Talk that Georgia State's like top 40 in the nation for passing yardage, but 111th in scoring. I feel like we yeah. just the flip of the last three years, four years. <laughs> right. That's I mean, right. people talk about different stats and stuff. And, and you know, we beat ODU in passing yards by a lot. I mean, if, if you look at the stats yeah. for this game and, and just ignore the rushing stat line, I mean, we, we killed them. We just didn't score, yeah. um, but we didn't kill them at all. I mean, we got dominated yeah. all over the field. So, like, stats don't tell the story on, on this game. Well, you know, uh, that, that is, that's kind of the thing under uh, McGee we've seen this season is, like, you know, yeah, we, we move the ball very well. We just do, you know, jack shit with it once we get into the red zone. But yeah. do you know who can react fast from the former team he is on where he had to react fast? Zach Gibson. Oh, Zach boy. Gibson. <laughs> hey, ZG. Hey, Missouri used to. He is at Tech. He knew he had to throw the ball in, like, 1.2 seconds or run, right? Yeah. I mean, so, so, you know. He threw so six McGee, passes in garbage time. But M- McGee has uh, not said who the starter will be. I don't think we'll we'll know who the starter is until the, the players take the field. Our sources Thursday. tell us Thursday. it's going to be sources say it's going to be Vayer. I I don't you, I don't I so? really don't think yeah. Vayer's the problem. Um, I, I think our lack of depth at wide receiver is a larger problem there. I mean, Ted seems to be the only guy that he can target uh, for whatever reason. I don't I don't understand where everybody else went. Or you know what we have backing them up because uh, we weren't even supposed to have Ted Hurst, right? I mean, nobody knew he right. was who he was coming into it. Um, I don't know. I just don't think Vayer's the the problem here because he he's obviously able to pass the ball around. And he showed us he can do it, right? I mean, with enough time. <laughs> well, he should he should have time. He should have a, a couple seconds. I mean, really, like our line just really doesn't seem to be able to do it and our running game backs that up because um anyone with a good running game has a good o-line yeah. how do we not how how do we bring in back-to-back national championship running back coach del mcgee and not have the ability to run the ball run the damn ball offensive line yeah the line it's gotta be it <laughs> He was just uh, relying on the O line coach at Georgia to, to make everything happen for him. And you know he sh- who he should hire at OL. I'm just saying. Was, I'm just saying. You say, say it, Sean Elliott. Oh, God. <laughs> he's, a, he's a he's a he's a hell of an offensive line coach. Isn't he a tight ends coach now or something? Yeah. No. Well, tight, we, end, are... tight end is is uh, plays half half the time is O line. So. Correct. Are we doing uh, expanding the remote learning to uh, the football program as well? So can, that can he just be virtual? Can, put him on a screen. Yeah, that, like yeah. rolls around the field. Yeah, it's Sean yeah, can it's coach from Columbia. Or you can uh, you can be anywhere and coach a football game. So well, I do have the I have the one stat that tells us that we win this game against Marshall. <laughs> I got it. What is it? Virginia Tech beat Marshall. What's that mean? And Virginia Vandy beat Vandy Vandy lost, Vandy right? beat Virginia Tech. Uh, I don't uh, remember. We can't, we can't go the extra step. Don't go the extra step. I'm just saying. I'm so you're, just saying, saying. you're saying we have a chance, right? That's all you're saying. As soon as you go the extra step, you give somebody else credit. So don't do it. I, 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 I didn't say anything. I, I'm, don't do it. You know? how, do, how do you all feel about the Thursday game? Because at least it's not tonight. I, oh, did, God. Did the Sun start that this year or has this always been there? Thursdays have been Tuesday a thing for a, what? Oh, Tuesdays are oh, two. Tuesdays are new, and then Maction was Wednesday, Fuck. right, or something like that, or Monday, or yeah. Maction was Wednesday, and then Conference USA got like every October game is Tuesday night with with a right. uh, yeah. Conference USA. So Thursdays are a long time thing. It's College okay. Football on Thursdays have been going on now for quite a while, uh, but 
and so I, I have less of a problem with that. Um, you guys are here in the in the uh, interview that I, I believe all that stuff too. It's like it's kind of a pain in the ass to um to get there after work and like expect a lot of fans to get there and tailgate all day. Like we'd be there all day, but like yeah. a lot of people wouldn't show up till well, six seven or you know. And it's like what what is this? That's that's why I like Thursday games for away games. Let that other fan base deal with all of that. Let that stadium not be as packed as it would be on a, on a traditional Saturday. I don't want to see Thursdays for, for home games. I don't, I don't need, I don't want to see Tuesday for, home. I game. don't need a Thursday game. Who, who, who's playing right now? I don't even know who's playing right South now. Alabama and Troy. I actually turned that on. I thought, Oh, this is a repeat. Oh. And I'm like, Oh shit. No, this is live battle for the belt. That's what they call it, right? Mm, battle for, battle the belt. for the terrible teams are both. not. Is really it like good. a WCW belt? What is it? It's not the sun belt. Cause um, a, yeah, I don't know. I oh, okay. I first Maybe turned on belt in a factory because they're like factory workers or something. I don't know. I first turned on uh, MTSU and Kennesaw State because they're playing as well from uh, good old Conference USA, and I was like, "Damn, it's only seven to two. I was like, "Come on, MTSU, you oh, cannot, you cannot, Kennesaw." That's a, that's a good Whoa, score. Oh, wait, wait to go, uh, Kennesaw, get a little safety action. Way to go, guys. Uh, apparently, we talk. Apparently, we talk about Kennesaw State a lot on this podcast. Well, now right, we have we've... to because it's on right now. According to the commenter, uh, the commenter, and on YouTube, we we're obsessed. We are obsessed with Kennesaw State. I just texted oh, yeah. my I texted my buddy who went to MTSU. It's like don't lose to them. <laughs> like I did. We talked. Don't to be them. the first. I hope Kennesaw wins. Come don't on. Don't be the first team. Don't be the ah, first beat, team. beat their asses, Kennesaw. Do it, Oof. little buddy. Get in the game. Little, you know, you little roughhouser. You little. Yeah. Yeah, go go do it. Go do your thing <laughs> against the unicorns or whatever they are. What are they? They're 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 weird, aren't they? They're like some kind of horse or something, like a Mustang they're, or something. Yeah. Well, okay, stallion, sure. Mustang, whatever. It's a horse. All right. So first of all, we're gonna get together at Manny's Grant Park to watch yeah. this game on Thursday. They've agreed to host our watch parties at least the next four weeks. I didn't include the the last two uh road games but uh we're getting to get there how are we feeling about this game the, marshall just came off a humiliating loss this to we? trash down south no no humiliating we weren't, loss yeah, we they lost weren't by one point what are you talking about they lost mm. by one point while being up 20 in the fourth quarter there were tweets about 23-3 a la falcons you know it's not the same score it's close but you know like they had the game in hand and it just Pissed Every, it away. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. I was like, man, it reminds me of some team I know. Nah, I no, think, we're, not, we're not talking about it. I think it's worse to have never been in the game against ODU. It's you more know, humiliating, I, for sure. Do you? But do you think that that energizes the players like having a game slip out of their fingertips? I don't know that, what that, energizes the team. I, I, I pray to God you know what? does. You know what? Uh, you know who Drugs. else doesn't know that? Do you know who else does not know that? Uh, Del McGee does not uh, know what energizes players. It seems like so, yeah, like hookers or something. You know, like lemon pepper wings. Lemon oh. pepper wings. Magic. I love how City. those are the two things we picked. Like, those are <laughs> hookers and wings. <laughs> Like both, Magic though, City, you know, it's Magic City. That's the answer. Yeah. Magic City is the answer to everything. It's true, it's true. <laughs> and it's walking distance from campus, so we, it's pretty close. It's we pretty sh- close. We should I mean, get on the want to walk down there because you got to go through some shifty areas, but um, maybe where Magic City is. But <laughs> <laughs> we sh- we should get on the phone with McGee and tell him we solved all the problems. Just take the team there. That's Can it. we get an NIL deal with Magic City? Ooh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, replace all the no i don't i don't i don't want to replace the cheerleaders but i'm just saying we could add some <laughs> spice to the cheerleading <laughs> squads <laughs> remember that do you guys want squads right they rotate and so Did you want, the, the, yeah. the, the, the the keanu reeves replacement movie yeah. the replacements movie where apparently when the football team strikes so does the cheerleading squads so they had to bring in strippers to be the uh uh cheerleaders for the washington sentinels wow how do I know this? The Sentinels. That's what they were. Okay. Off subject. Off subject. <laughs> Ooh, Georgia State. How are we doing? Let's get uh, back. Not good. Back. Not good. Man, I'm. I, I, so what's I the, uh, the what, wait? Wait. What's the what are the what's the line? What are, what, 
What does uh, FBI I, tell us how many we could lose by? Last I saw, Vegas was saying Marshall by nine and a half. All right. That's respectful. I don't... You know, when I was talking to the other podcast this morning, this afternoon, I, I wouldn't take that bet. I think that uh, you know, Marshall could easily win this game, but I think we keep it closer than 10 points. So... I mean, we I, I, we could win. We could come out there and absolutely just blow the socks off of them. I, 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 we have the ability to do it. We have the talent on the roster. That there's no doubt about the fact that we have the ability to do it. But for some reason, we talked about the progression in the team from you know Tech to Chattanooga to Vandy, and it's been regression ever since. And I think it's the bye week, and that's why the short week is gonna get us the win. Uh, bye week doesn't make you play like we played. That's crazy. That's crazy that's, talk. I'm. It's just me trying to hope that we're better. Oh, I, I know, I lose? know, but it's crazy talk. I just it, the thing is, is I, I, I would call it a lose, a loss right now. Um, I, I would say we're probably gonna lose, but only because we're on a downward trend, and you know they have to show me something before I think that we're out of it. Do I think they have the ability to win this? I think they have the ability to put seventy on on Marshall, but they they probably aren't gonna. Who I think I had us losing this game. I, I thought I wrote it down somewhere. I listened to our podcast. We all wrote it down somewhere. I don't. Know. I know, but it's it's Either. literally on this just, ad I'm flipping right now. I just relied on Tim to write things down because I um I'm I'm really a bad note taker. Ah, found it. Uh oh. Uh well. We are all going, we all said we're going to win. So there you go. Get buckled in, Ryan. We're winning. We all call this one a win? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, obviously. Mm. I mean, if Tim called it a win, because didn't you only have us like winning like three or four games, Tim? Uh, one, two, three, four, six. I was winning six. Uh, and I got the last two wrong. So. <laughs> I don't know how we but lost I, the ODU and, and TDS. I did say we would win one of JMU, Arkansas State, Texas State, and Coastal. So that's going to happen. Well, how? Oh, Ryan's like, Ryan's like, <laughs> screw this damn crap. it. They're talking about schedule ish, kind of. I, I'm out of here. He dropped. How many more wins do we have on this schedule? Mm, well, if we could learn how to run the ball at State. UConn, I don't care what FBI no, no, says. no, no. At App State, App State is, is garbage because um, I think we're gonna play them at noon on a Thursday. So it sounds like I, I talked to um, uh, the Black and Gold podcast guy today, and he mm-hmm. he says that they they intend on playing games, football games at in Boone to finish out the season. It's just a matter of figuring out the timing. They want to find out the best way to make it a game that people come into for a day trip. They don't want to, they don't want people to try to get, stay there because it's just so too much come in and get out. Hey, right. Hey, Ryan's back, but they, it's, it's too much, but they, they don't want people to stick around. Boone. They want them to come into the game. They want to want them to go home. They, they want to make it happen. So the uh, happy guys are going to be there, but like, I, this is just screaming falcon saints post katrina game it's first with a, game with a first game back there i i don't know happy state is by far not uh, a gimme win ryan the quite why you're um whatever you were doing when you're disconnected where the question was how many more wins do we have on this uh on the schedule Ooh. and including and, uh, marshall yes including marshall and that's then, a w uh, we all said that at, at Appy State, Appy State was the one that that Tim said we should win that game, and I just don't know if the cards are in line for that. Uh, UConn, ESPN does not have us favored. Jimmy Madison, I, as much as I hate that program, I said if we could, I said if we could figure out how to run the ball, we beat App State. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll take UConn as a as the only win left. We right all now. had that one right yeah. now. Yeah, right now. But well, but I, I they can convince me otherwise, right? Like I, I, st- I think this team can beat every team on the schedule. Do I think they will? I'm, I, you know, based on what I've been seeing, I'm, I'm not sure. For sure, we have the ability, we have the players, yeah. we, we yeah. have the talent. Yeah, it's just get, getting it all, all put together. I, gelled. I just yeah. got gelled. Gelled. Gotta gelled. Gotta, gelled. Gotta remove the rust and add the gel. That's it. There you go. Mm. 
I don't, I don't, I honestly, man, I'm, I'm kind of like at a loss for words. I just don't know what to do right now. I do know that I will be at Manny's Grant Park, Ubering there. Smart. A always good old time. Always oh. a good idea to Uber. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Good time. Maybe I'll have one of those, uh, one of those candy Andes. I was I gonna say, I was gonna say you're getting the burger, right? The last time I was there, I didn't do it. I forgot to eat. Basically, I just Ooh. watched the whole football game, got really drunk, and forgot to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to me all I the time. I saved money. <laughs> you made, you actually you made money. You I saved, made money. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and and I saved calories. I basically was on a diet. There you go. You know the the the, the Paps Blue Ribbon Diet because they PBR do have cheap diet. PBR. Yep. 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 All right. Let's Paps and Matt. Woo. Let's talk about some positivity. Let's get off of this whole, like, you know, the, the game that's going to happen in two days. I have thing. said lots of times that they have the ability to win. Okay. I've been trying to be. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Really... I agree. I agree. Okay. I agree. Right. Oh, and also, if you listen to the podcast I did earlier today, Running with the Herd, whatever they're called, I was, I was super negative. I was like, yeah, we're going to lose this game i was super negative i don't know why i was <laughs> we're gonna I was, shit the bed and shit it again but, but to be fair it was at three o'clock on a tuesday i was probably sober as hell probably sober as hell and <laughs> who knows probably who knows not was, honest to god like don't, don't, lie, don't lie to our was, fans okay All yeah right. <laughs> it, was already, it was already 3 p.m you were kind of at least one and a half at it. yeah you know i had some sort of residual drunkenness coming on from last night but all right, some positivity. Uh, we got another recruit, uh, Zion Lawson, from my district's high school. This is the high school that my kids will go to should we stay in this house, which we plan on. Uh, but that's awesome. He seems great. As of right now, Georgia State's ranking in the 2025 class is not just the best in the Sun Belt. It's the best the Sun Belt has ever had. If all these guys sign and McGee's not done, we have the best recruiting class in Sun Belt history. I feel like he needs to keep fundraising to keep all of these people he does, entertained. He does do that too, though. So he does. That's one thing I love about yeah. him is that he's really taken a hand in in doing the fundraising and and all the other operation stuff. Um, I, maybe he needs to be coaching a little more. I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's part of the problem is that he, he has to do everything else. Spread, he's spreading himself too thin a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He did hire himself a billion coaches, though, so you'd think it'd be fine. Yeah. Coaching by committee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, our, uh, our Patreon member, John, uh, says that in, in addition to being the best in the, the Sun Belt, uh, recruiting classes ahead of BYU, Illinois, Cal, and within a point of Iowa State, Cincinnati, Northwestern. Basically, we are recruiting at a Big 12, lower Big 10 level. I'll take it. So he has some plan in motion to get the hell out of Sunbelt, right? Is that what this is? It's my God. Come on. <laughs> and, and, and then you, so, so, so here, yeah, there's two things about it. So one, this is awesome. We have a fantastic class, but how many times especially in a G5 program, do your freshmen actually start for you in that year? So we had this fantastic class. How many are going to play next year when we open up the season at Ole Miss, when we travel to Vandy? Uh, you know, we have these great, these great opportunities ahead of us, but are these guys going to see the field in these games? <laughs> I think he's going to have to play comes, him. Yeah. Memphis Memphis comes here next year. Unless there's another hurricane and they can get out of another game. <laughs> well, this, I mean, this whole team is new. So, I mean, you, you get a year of experience under their belt. Um, we're in pretty good shape, I think. Because, um, I mean, we've shown that the ta the talent is there. We've, we've shown that right. in a couple games. So, it's like, you know, you, you, you gel a little bit and you <laughs> keep that. You keep that going. Uh, you don't have a totally 100% brand new team, but you do have a bunch of uh, additions to that talent. It could be really good for us. But who knows if we have 100% of the same. I mean, if we have people coming back, because that's going to be problematic well, right now, too. So. I think we have a decent set of players. I mean, yeah. we don't have anyone that stands out other than Hurst. He could get picked up tomorrow. Some yep. team's going to say, hey, we'll pay 100 k Just drop out. Yeah. Stop. Right? We need you healthy. <laughs> Well, what it I mean, is, one good thing about that, and I, I say good, but he, God, that sucks. I shouldn't say that. This is not okay. Um, 
he's not ha- he doesn't handle being double covered very well. No. Um, that has been like a, a I mean, I know that double covered is double covered, and it's that's gonna be problematic, but like um he has not shown the ability to get through it. See, he's like the he's like the, the peerless price of receivers where you uh, you're really a you're a good secondary receiver, but as soon as they focus on you as the primary Maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe that's something you can work on, though. I don't know. You would think with all the double coverage, though, someone else would step up and kind of be the next shining star of our receiving core. Yeah, but we got really like, just uh, been. Right? That's your job. Catch the ball. Yeah. If there's but, nobody uh, covering you, it should be even Talik, easier. Talik, Talik is a he's, a wide he's receiver, been pretty right? good. Yeah, yeah, but he's he's out for a few games now. Is he? Is he injured? Yeah, in the last one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I that's, that's a know, who's the, who's Michelle Dukes? I, I didn't. He he was actually our our, our highest receiver um, against ODU. David, you were watching on TV. You probably know better than us. Just, <laughs> if you three, saw the two of us, you would know. Yeah. I had uh, three children that were making it very difficult to watch the game, and I just you know spat it out nonsense. He had uh, 73 yards on six six receptions, no touchdowns, but um, he was our leading. Oh, guard. shocking. No touchdowns? I'm so surprised. I mean, Ted got the touchdown, so. Sure. Yeah. I, I can tell you, like, when we've changed quarterbacks, I feel like most people were walking away at that point. Yeah, I was surprised when I was walking in. away. We got that touchdown. I was I was hooting and hollering. I was, I was jumping up and down. My dad... I watch Ryan. You've been there. You've 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 come over and watched games. I, I watch games on my front porch on a very busy you know, oh yeah sh- street, and um, yeah, yeah, it was um people were, were were I got some looks. You were the crazy <laughs> man on the front porch. I'm like, like what's uh, what's the score? I'm like, I'm watching Georgia State, and I guarantee you, you don't care about this game. You don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Who's winning the blah 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 game? Georgia game. Exactly. Exactly. One thing. One thing I did like. Uh, you know, I kind of poo pooed uh, Zach Gibson going for six for six in garbage time, but uh, the fact that they let him throw the ball six times in garbage time, like a lot of times, you get the backup that comes in and they hand the ball, right? right? They hand the ball. Oh, yeah, that, the ball, hand the ball. They let is... him air it out, and he did well. So that was but cool. They, I like this. This was not bringing in a backup quarterback uh, because your starting quarterback was injured for a play and just had had to sit for one play. You did a handoff. This was something's not working. We've got to figure something else out. You're down two scores. Go try. Got to throw the ball. We've got to throw the ball. So that that, I I think that was the the, the play immediately. It was good to see him uh, play well. Uh, Do you think that? Do you think no matter who starts, we see we see both players play uh, in the game? Do a, yeah. a dual a dual quarterback setup? I think if Vayard comes out and looks good, he'll he'll keep the the job. I don't think he's going to sw- switch quarterbacks unless Vayard just because you know we talk- giant turd and then he'll put Gibson in. Talking to Russ tonight, he sounds like that he thinks that Marshall may play uh, a dual quarterback system. Well, that's because so. they listen to their fans. That's why. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't, I don't try think that quarterback works. system. They get yeah. Pennington's guy in there. <laughs> I, I don't think that works. And I, I, you know, we we make a lot of jokes about gel and rust and all that stuff. Um, and one of the, the ways that a team gel and if you listen to last call, we call it lube. Yeah. <laughs> lube. <laughs> lube. <laughs> um, one of one of the th- the the ways that you make a team gel is having a consistent quarterback, and um, you've yeah. seen it over and over and over again on other teams. Having multiple quarterbacks is not good for the team. Generally, there are exceptions, of course, but it d- does not generally work out because y- you need that consistency at that key captain position on the offense. Um, and so, I, I you know I hope we don't do that. I think part of it too is whenever people have tried the dual quarterback thing, I feel like it's you've got your traditional pocket passer, and then you have your uh, wildcat kind of you know Michael Vick esque you know running athletic uh, quarterback, and you kind of switch from one to the other, and it's that speed of the game and that that first kind of you know uh, play that you do, and you just can't you can't prepare for. If you've been playing for three quarters or two quarters of, of a game as a traditional pocket passer, and you bring in somebody else, and they're they're expected just to be able to like, oh, I'm going to throw it or run it depending on what I see. The game is so full in motion; it's that guy's going to have a hard time catching up to where everybody else is on that field at that point. Well, you so. remember, um, 
like Kelton Hill, I think, did a little dual, dual quarterback at, mm-hmm. at some point. And um, every time he'd come in, we'd just be like, oh, he's going to run the ball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, he's just going to run the ball. Like, so we, we knew as soon as Kelton Hill was in there, quarterback is going to run the ball. Like that was, was the same. That was, was, like, wasn't, that, wasn't that Georgia with Green and Shockley? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, like, I don't see McGee doing that. Happen. There's no mystery now. Uh, yeah. I don't see McGee doing that. I think he game plans with one guy in mind. And if that doesn't work out, obviously he'll change. But I don't know. You could you could argue that he just put Gibson in just to get some reps. That's it. Yeah. Like he um, wasn't th- putting him in and be like, hey, go win that game. I mean, well, I mean, but we could do, have. If you do. Then we we, we had a shot. Playing. There was there was a shot. There was a shot. <laughs> there was a shot. Onside kick, out. right? I mean, yeah. he, and then you put him in, maybe not with an expectation to win the game, but he let him play the game in a way that he could come back and win. Yeah. Um, and and that I think was a pretty good. Um, I I will give kudos to the, the coaches on that. Um, so yeah. what if you yeah. put him in a quarter earlier? Uh, who knows? Ooh. You might not have played as well because. The game mattered more. <laughs> it mattered more then. Maybe we'll put. No, I'm not mattered more. Like, um, good play mattered more at that point. Right. In time. So, like, right. they might have defended better than le- allowing. Sure. To go six sure. Six. Yeah. So, we'll find out on Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Thursday. maybe I don't know. I'll be drunk Thursday. Mm-hmm. For sure. How, how early are we gonna get there? What time you want to get there? I don't know. I don't have a kid. I think. I think you have one. You have a kid. No, no, no. But she'll be at mom's. Uh, we've, yes. we've, we've, I've, I've met your games at seven. Uh, I can re, I can realistically be there at six, five thirty. Oh boy. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. We'll put, we'll post it. We'll post it there. All right. Uh, other big news that dropped right before we came on and started recording tonight. Breaking is, news. Breaking news. You got I, the, don't have, I don't have the uh, video. It's not, it's not ported over to the new um, the new platform. But uh, and it's not really breaking because it's come out a couple hours ago. Uh, the man, the legend, R.J. Hunter has retired from basketball. Uh, but sounds like he's wanting to go into coaching. Or that's what I, that's what I read too. Something. Yeah something his his long post about it sounds like he uh he says he's been taking 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 from basketball and now he's gonna he wants to give back as much as he's taken so that that sounds like he's following in dad's footsteps and be a coach right i mean might have the opening at the end of <laughs> the coming... <laughs> oh i hope all right there's nothing more than i would love than rj hunter being <laughs> A basketball coach, a head basketball coach at Georgia State. Not there's yet. also there's also nothing that I would hate more than Jonas Hayes getting fired after three years because it means we have another crappy year of basketball. <laughs> hey, like I, like I posted, it's put up or shut up time. Right? We came. They did the um the I guess when the the, the Sun Belt coaches poll or whatever, and we're Twelve? tenth, tenth, tenth yeah. in the uh, in the conference. But th- be fair. We we've had a turnover roster the past every single season under Jonas Hayes. Nobody knows what to expect. Ben says this is our best, best recruiting, recruiting class. class ever. We'll see uh, games. We we have a not this Saturday. The the following Saturday we we have our first game against the little exhibition. Shorter. Exhibition. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, uh, it's it's like Dakota uh, Shorter. No, Bible, Bible actually, College. No, Tacoa was actually a real game this season. There, there's only so many games, or there's only so many seasons you can have, uh, crappy seasons you can have before you're like, uh, it's not other things besides the coach. Southeast right. Northeast Bible College. <laughs> uh, U- USC Beaufort. Are you? Oh, uh, they have the sharks or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. It's a little, it looks like a little Mako shark on their logo. They got yeah, there. Yeah, they're they're a hockey team. We're playing a hockey team. <laughs> well, well, are we playing on ice or on uh, a court? Well, you say that. Did you say the sharks? The Mako's, I don't know. What, right? oh. I don't. I don't know what they. I don't know what their actual mascot is. But oh, I was yeah. just thinking, like, because like any given Sunday, remember the shark? They were they were the sharks. No, the, Fox, oh no, the, no, they're they're, they're the they're the, land, they're the land they're the land sharks, and also I feel like anytime you've ever seen a uh, fictional football team. In any kind of logo? movie, TV. no, it, it's always the sharks. Sharks are always the logo or the, or the mascot they use for fictional football. Because there isn't one. 
because there's mean, not one. Wait, yeah. they're just begging to be sponsored by Landshark Beer. How beta is Miami Dolphins that they decided to go with Dolphin, a nice little happy, fun, fishy animal, and they could have gone with Sharks, big aggressive. You know? uh, dol- dolphins are better than sharks. I, don't, dolphin, dolphins I, don't, I, I won't. I won't let you talk shit about dolphins like this. All yeah. right, David. You just. I, I, I was saying that to make fun of Danny. It's a mean dolphin, <laughs> isn't it? Or is it a happy dolphin? I don't, I don't know. know. But in uh, I saw this documentary uh, called Ace Ventura, where the dolphin would actually would, would pass a ball to you. So uh-huh. that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real life. Other stuff happened as well. Yeah. So. I think they're like serial killers and stuff too. Dolphins. Yeah. 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 They're real smart. Oh, they like they S A puffer fish. What's S A mean? Uh, that's what they say on TikTok when they can't say bad words. Shit. Eshual a lot. So what? Mm-hmm. Well, this is more of a last call kind of conversation. Let's let's, let's, just let's, take let's this. yeah, we'll table that for now. On my yeah, last yeah. call, you're gonna teach me what uh, <laughs> teach me what dolphins do to puffer fish. <laughs> okay. Hey. All right. Cool. Yeah, I got you. Ooh, <laughs> wow. All right. Um, wh- wh- what were we talking about? You were exactly? a dolphin. You'd do it too, all right? No, no I don't know. I mean, I've, uh, I mean, I mean, if you could. Could you imagine? So, could you? They talk about dolphins. <laughs> this is totally last call shit. Could you imagine a dolphin? Like, you know, they say that like it's the closest, like, you know, intelligence to a human. And you're like, oh, cool. I get to like walk around in my own piss and crap. This is just, I eat and I piss and crap the same liquid awesome that's fantastic uh i don't know the ocean's pretty big man it's all dispersed pretty well and like i i piss in the pool like i'm a i'm a i'm a pool pisser i know you've been to my house i know what is this podcast about drink 18 pbrs never got out of the pool uh no i peed i i I got up once or twice just to try to prove a point but i definitely peed in that pool just when you had to poop all right bladder of steel ryan bladder of steel you know that's not true i'm actually like dancing right now because i have to pee so bad i think it's an excellent time for tim to take us out of here (laughs) all right thanks everyone for listening uh we're gonna take a quick break ryan's gonna go pee at least one time yeah yeah. we'll we'll restock our bed is not our last call. Um, if you liked what you heard or you didn't, don't really care. Um, join our Patreon anyway at patreon.com forward slash state of Atlanta. You get live streaming access to last call, discounts on our awesome merch. We had a great uh, state shirt that came out. Everyone wears them now all the time. Group Sweatshirts chat action. Coming. Sweatshirts, Sweatshirts are coming. coming. It's, it is getting, and it's getting to hoodie season. So watch yeah. out. Uh, group chat, always great. Breaking news. David will drop it all the time. Uh, adult beverages at the tailgates as long as we remember to bring enough wait um, david drops it like it's hot i like didn't hot. i didn't know that was happening where is that like a private channel like that i'm not invited to what was that that's the that's the super exclusive one <laughs> that that's is the, correct that's for the ten dollar donors <laughs> ten dollar donors um become a fan of the show it's just five bucks a month or ten if you want to be really nice we'd love to have you aboard say goodbye guys goodbye guys peace